we are going to present to the Southern Science Conference in 2024 our work titled Influence of Cognitive Reflection and Metacognitive Skills Measured as Calibration on Convergent Scientific Creativity. The work has been carried out by researchers from Valencia, Spain, Mireya Cifre Herando, and Joan Joseph Solas Portales. The research is structured into six key components introduction, objectives, methodology, results and discussion, conclusions, and limitations. First, starting with the introduction. As we live in a rapidly evolving world, scientific creativity is vital for addressing challenges and promoting ideas. We think it is important to define these three concepts that are key for the development of the study. The scientific creativity is the ability to generate scientific ideas or products that are both original and useful within a scientific context. The cognitive reflection is the ability of individuals to analyze and evaluate their intuitive responses to reach more reasoned and accurate solutions. And last, metacognitive skills enable students to plan, monitor, and evaluate their own learning process. Fundamental for self-regulated learning and improving academic performance. The study has two objectives. The first objective is to determine the level of convergent scientific creativity across different grade levels in secondary education. And the second objective is to analyze the effects of grade level, gender, cognitive reflection, and metacognitive skills in the form of calibration on convergent scientific creativity. So we are going to study how metacognitive skills assessed in the form of calibration, cognitive reflection, grade level, and gender affect the convergent scientific creativity. For this study, a quantitative and cross-sectional research design has been used. The participants were 153 secondary education students from a public high school in the city of Valencia and all enrolled in physics and chemistry, spanning three distinct academic levels. The study employed three different tests. The test one and test two measure convergent scientific creativity and metacognitive skills using open-ended problems and asking the level of confidence with their answers. The test three is used to assess the cognitive reflection and it consists of eight questions with an intuitive answer. For example, what do cows drink? The intuitive and wrong answer is milk and the correct answer is water. Data was collected during class sessions and graded through rubrics with statistical analysis conducted in Excel. Moving to the results section. The overall average score for convergent scientific creativity were low across all academic levels, with an average of 1.56 out of 6. No significant differences were found in grade level or gender. This indicates that students generally underperform in this domain, suggesting that educational curricula may need to place more emphasis on fostering creative and scientific thinking. In terms of calibration, measured as the difference between actual performance and self-estimation, showed moderate accuracy across students with no significant grade level or gender differences. The results were analyzed with a correlation matrix. These results suggest that cognitive reflection and calibration are important factors that may influence students' convergent scientific creativity. The strong correlation between calibration and convergent scientific creativity highlights the importance of students' ability to accurately assess their own performance. After that, a backward stepwise multiple regression analysis was conducted. It revealed that calibration was the strongest predictor of convergent scientific creativity, explaining 71.3% of the variance. While cognitive reflection did not directly predict creativity, it had a significant indirect effect mediated by calibration. The fact that cognitive reflection correlates positively and significantly with convergent scientific creativity, as can be seen in the correlation matrix, but does not appear as a significant predictor of the variability of convergent scientific creativity while also correlating positively and significantly with calibration, is an indication of a possible mediating role of calibration between cognitive reflection and convergent scientific creativity. Finally, we can read the conclusions of the study. The first conclusion is that the level of convergent scientific creativity among secondary students is generally low. The second conclusion, Convergent scientific creativity is not influenced by academic level or gender. And the third, convergent scientific creativity can be primarily predicted by calibration, with cognitive reflection having an indirect effect. The study's limitations include a small sample size, potential self-perception bias, 
complex test wording, and context-specific conclusions, restricting broader applicability of the findings. Finally, here are shown the references used in this work. Thank you very much for your attention, and I would be happy to answer any possible question. Thanks.